buckle up, Brady. The offseason of Tony Romo is here with Dallas Cowboys owner Jerry Jones. Jerry can't help himself. He's going to throw some fuel on the fire, saying, quote, I don't know how ultimately we will resolve this, this meaning the Romo situation. Nobody should be alarmed because you don't have all the answers. And so, Brady, it begins the saga, the offseason of Tony Romo. Yeah, I read the quotes, and I came away more confused than when I first began thinking about the whole scenario of and Tony Romo confusing and the Dallas Cowboys. He's not saying anything. Correct. He's saying a lot without really saying anything. And I think we've seen this from time to time from Jerry Jones. And at this point, he's right. They don't know what the future holds for Tony Romo. Uh, no one really does at this point because there's not a deal on the table to trade for him. And that team trading for him would have to have the cap space in order to bring him on board. And if not, and if the Cowboys get forced in a position where they have to move forward with Tony Romo on the roster, they're going to have to make a decision of whether or not they want to release Tony Romo because that cap hit, it'll be, what, 24, 25 24.7 million. 24.7 million dollars. Almost 25 million if he's on the roster. And, and that's huge when you're thinking about a guy who's going to be the backup quarterback. They're, they're going to start Dak Prescott with what he was able to accomplish in his rookie season. Now, if they release him, the cap hits only 20 million. So you save a little bit there, but... I don't know if you want to move forward with him, you know, being on the bench and taking up 25 million in cap space. That could go to help a defense that I think needs some help, or possibly maybe someone else to help out Dak Prescott a little bit in the receiving game. 